Hello, Japan Polo Lovers. I'm in Okutama, which is about one hour and a half minutes from Shinjuku. And it's really hidden nature spot in Tokyo. Look at this view. Okutama is a hidden nature spot and it's not too far from the center of Tokyo. So you can go there as a day trip if you are in Tokyo. It was holiday week in Japan and I wanted to escape from crowded travel spot and also be healed by nature. Okutama was a perfect place where you can enjoy the pristine nature and great food. Spending time in the countryside of Japan will be a good experience for you and people are really nice, no rush and slow life. Everywhere I went to in this video was I could see the nature. I hope you to visit Okutama after watch this video. And today I'm gonna stay in Okutama for two days. So I'm gonna show you how fun the Okutama is. Okay, let's go! When you visit to Okutama, you can't miss this restaurant. Kamameshi Nakai is a top review of all restaurants in Okutama area. This restaurant is located in an old Japanese style house in the woods and serves kamameshi which has a history of over 100 years and literally translates to kettle rice and is a traditional Japanese rice dish cooked in an iron pot called a kama. I'm so excited to eat Japanese kamameshi here. Mm. Wow. Wow. It smells really good. I ordered veggies one, so it can smell really good veggies. Oh, okay. Kamameshi plate comes with red miso soup, red beans mochi, and sashimi cognac and pickled vegetables. Kamameshi tastes just amazing. The rice was steamed in a porcelain pot with soy sauce, stock and several kinds of vegetables. Mm. It's really good. With so many flavors and humors and veggies are so fresh. This is sashimi cognac, which is not familiar in other countries. You can be eaten with soy sauce and wasabi like a sushi. It has seaweed inside. So if you can't eat raw fish, you can eat this sashimi cognac. Mm. I can smell really good seaweed flavor and soy sauce is really good much. After you have lunch and want to have a walk around, Okutama is the best spot to walk around everywhere. First spot is Mugiyama Uki Bridge. It depends on the weather, but you can usually across the bridge. It's really popular photo spot in Okutama area. The lake is so beautiful. The, the color of water is really like sky blue. The second spot is Ogochi Dam. It locates next to Okutama Lake. As you can see, it's really beautiful spot to walk around. We don't usually have a chance to see the dam, so it's also fun to visit. I'm in front of the hot spring. The name is Moegi no Yu. This is a hot spring in Okutama. They have a foot bath area and outdoor bath as well. There is a relaxing area and food court inside. If you want to act like a local Japanese, you should drink this coffee milk bottle after you take a bath. This is really Japanese style. Oh, oh it's so good. Do you like wasabi? Okutama is the third largest production of wasabi in Japan. The owner of this shop named Wasabi Dining is selling the rice bowl with wasabi that he has grown by himself. So his wasabi tastes different, more creamy, fresh and it's not too spicy as well. We can eat this wasabi with bonito flakes or a pork rice bowl. It's street food style, so we can bring it out near the river or lake too. 
いただきます。うん、わ。うん。いつ、いつ、いつ、いつ。あ、いつ、not too spicy。わさび、すめ、かんち、だ、のう。but いつ、いつ、like fresh tasty。So I'm gonna put a little bit of this wasabi on the pork. See how it tastes. Hmm. It really is just the wasabi flavor. There's no spiciness to it. It's really good. You get the wasabi flavor, but without too much spice on it. So Okutama also has their own uh, craft brewery area over here. Uh, they have. Quite a bit of different、uh, IPAs. I saw American IPA, NZ IPA.、Uh, this one's a hazy IPA,、uh, and then they also had blonde ale.、Um, so it's、uh, quite nice looking can. Looks like they brew just right in the mountains.、Uh, so it must be pretty fresh. Oh wow! Wow! It tastes like a decent IPA. A decent hazy IPA,、uh, and it does taste a little fruity. It tastes like as though it has a little bit of passion fruit in it、uh, to give it that fruity flavor.、Uh, it's really good. Okay, he's the owner of We Stayed Airbnb. If you visit to Okutama, I recommend you to stay in Airbnb, not at the hotel. The owner that we stayed this time was really fun person and kind. The house was really huge. Has a great view and was relaxing Japanese type of old house. Okutama no Ossusume spot are the best. Dokomo Kashkomo, Shiden Yutaka, Ossusume spot. This is the last 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 spot. The last spot we went to the restaurant in Okutama is Earth Garden. As you can see from the name, the restaurant is in the woods. We can experience homemade hamburg steak at the deck while watching the nature. Eating outside of the nature makes the food taste even better. The meat is so juicy, and the side of vegetables tastes really good. Itadakimasu. The miso soup has a burdock, carrot, and cognac. Personally, I love this Okutama pudding. A little bitter taste of caramel is so good with pudding. Alright, this is all of my trip memory in Okutama for two days. It was very relaxing two days. And how was my video? If you like this video, please like and subscribe this channel. Bye.